I live my life wrong, and I don't want this to happen to you. If you listen and take evasive action, I can help you change your future. The following few moments may very well change your life, and I wish someone had told me this when I was your age. Money is not evil by itself; it's just paper with perceived value to obtain other things we value in other ways. If not money, what is evil? You may ask. Evil is the unquenchable, obsessive, and moral-bending desire for more. Evil is the bottomless, soulless, and obsessive-compulsive pursuit of some pot of gold at the end of some rainbow which doesn't exist. Evil is having a price tag for your heart and soul in exchange for financial success at any cost. Evil is trying to buy happiness again and again until all of those fake, short-lived mirages of emotions are gone. Imagine having it all, only to lose it all. You are now broke. All the money is gone. What do you have? The only solution to your madness and happiness was acquiring more. Now you have no more means to acquire fake happiness. No more means to acquire more. So who are you now? Where are all the people now who you thought were your friends while the money was flowing in? You might have lost your family, friends, and mostly. Everyone in the world thinks you're a self-centered, egotistical asshole. Why? Because of your endless pursuit for more, clouded your mind and diverted you from your true purpose in life. I'm not saying you can't be financially successful. I'm saying have a greater purpose in life, well beyond the pursuit of financial success. Does this hit an emotional chord in you? Did it depress or sadden you? Your soul is screaming for you to answer your true calling. You can change today if you redefine what success is to you. You can transform your damaged relationships and build new ones. You can forgive yourself and others who hurt you. You can become a leader by mentoring with others. Who you aspire to be like. You can rebalance your priorities in life. You can heal your marriage and recreate a stronger love than you ever thought possible. You can become the best parent possible at any age, even 86. But don't wait until then. You'll always be able to make more money, but you cannot make more time. One day, just like me, you will die too. What do you want to be remembered for? What can you do for others to make the world a better place? What is your true purpose on this earth? We are all dying, but only a small, select few are truly living. You can step out of the shadows into the light. You are meant for greatness. You are meant for more than just what you do for a living. You are an eternal being, meant to inspire and help the world. Let's get it right once and for all in this lifetime. Just love more and more, every day in every way, and never give up, regardless of how challenging your destiny in life will be. The world really needs you now more than ever. Together with love, compassion, forgiveness, and faith in humanity, we will defeat evil once and for all. If you look around you, you will see people's lives and thoughts on autopilot. Now you tell me why someone else is dictating your life and thoughts. Why? Why are your thoughts being manipulated by external variables? What does it take to change those thoughts and therefore change your habits and life?
Let's start with the concept of speed. 1697. Newton's Laws of Motion. Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an external force. This law teaches us to exterminate all negative external forces, so we remain in constant motion. This knowledge is taught in high schools, colleges, it's all around you. You can give me any task, I will demolish it. I don't care if I've ever done it, I don't care if I've ever heard of it, I don't even care if it's never been done. Life isn't easy like that, you have to hustle, you have to push yourself, pain yourself. See, I can do anything, because I've grasped the law of motion. Will you plumb it down? or soar up. Your perception decides. Eliminate unnecessary external forces, waste no time, and ascend perpetually, so that your speed will never lose its motion. You cannot lead until you can serve. You cannot serve until you can work. You cannot work until you see potential. You cannot see your potential without intelligence. The realization of potential, believing in yourself, Believing in your vision from within, stepping forth, unleashing your full potential, and bringing your vision into fruition. There's some of you, you're trying to get there too fast. Relax! It's gonna come. And you gotta learn to shut the noise. I mean to shut out other people's opinions. You have a purpose. One which nobody else can do as great as you can. You gotta hear it. You can't make a difference until you make a decision. So. For real, some of you, man, you keep crying. You complain about your job. You complain about where you are financially. You complain about your relationship. You complain about your opportunities. You complaining, complaining, complaining. Shut up! Stop complaining and do me a favor. If you want to make a difference, all you got to do is one thing. This is how you get started. All you got to do is make a decision. That's it. And for those of you who've been making the wrong decision, all you got to do is make the right decision. But if you want to make a difference, make a decision. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? A wise man once told me, speed propels the vitality of life, attitude controls it, momentum maintains it, patience protects it, leadership guides it, and intelligence unleashes it.